Hi everyone and welcome to my place. Do you like Kokodama balls and do you like orchids and you're looking for a gift to give someone for Christmas or just a little bit of beautifulness in a lovely little corner of your garden or on your terrace or just somewhere nice. Look at this, isn't this just beautiful? I absolutely love it. And what I love best is you can buy the Kokodama balls that are all ready to go. Hold on, I'll get rid of that there. Yeah, they're on Amazon, they're all over the place and they come in different sizes. But what's really lovely is there's this wire frame under in here and then they've covered it with that coconut matting and then some patient, tolerant person has gone and done all the string on the outside and provided a string. Now, you could put a fresh plant into this, but I've just recently finished my new, oh, I can't believe I've, we've got there already. It's my Japanese meditation garden, and I saw that when I was able to go somewhere, which was pre the lockdown, locked up, COVID, handbrake time. But I saw these, and I absolutely loved them, and I loved the garden, so I've just recently done that. and. Unfortunately, it's, well, fortunately, it's well covered and it's, I don't, I'm a bit busy and I can't really be bothered with watering all of the time. So this is going to be perfect. So I want to share how to make it because it's so quick and easy. Now I'll just bring that down like so. That can just go down to there. First things first, put it up onto a hook and establish that it is hanging level because if it's not hanging level it doesn't matter what you do it's never going to be level so if you need to adjust the little strings do adjust them the other little issue i've got is i know that they use this coconut fibery stuff for the inside of hanging baskets and things like that but i also have this little feeling that if it's going to be outside the string will possibly rot out quickly. So if you are going to be putting fresh things into it, I would take that off and I would put something that's a little bit plastic coated or actually just some wire for some little wire chain or something. Now, this is how I got to doing it because you've got fortunately there's only two strings as opposed to sometimes you get three and four especially with the hanging baskets. So to what I did was I got a glass and I've just put a little bit of foam. Now I've been talking a lot about foam of late. You can get the um, the biodegradable organic type of um, foam, but not everybody has the access to it. So if you didn't have any fo any of the um, foam, you could actually just put a little bit of soil into there and that would just do the trick as well. But I'm gonna put that in there to start with so that that's gonna be my base. I don't wanna fill all of that up with anything, but the glass seam just was the perfect fit for into there. The next thing to go in are the gorgeous, look at this leaf. Isn't that beautiful? Now that's just new into our range here and I'm absolutely thrilled with it because we always had, like we've had the single stems, but if you wanted to put that into a pot, it was never gonna, never looked right because we didn't have any leaves. Well, now we have and I'm very proud of those leaves. And what the other thing that I really love about them is that lovely luster, just as if they're growing. And the great thing is that a, a little bug hasn't been in there and there's, its pH is is perfect so it's actually the bright green and it's not going yellow or have little spots in it right to that I'm just going to put that into there and wait a minute I'll just push that into there and by hanging it up when you do it the great thing is is that you get it balanced before you get too far away the next thing I want to add into that is some lovely salal and I apps this is just so beautiful and it's when you get it it will come flat 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 like that in a box so when you get it home you have to go from there to there and it's just a matter of getting into there there's little wires all the way through this so that you can just bend and manipulate it. Now I want this to be quite high so I'm just going to bring that up and into there because that little bit of height there is going to give me just oh it's going to appear as if it's a little bit bigger. With this one here I'm just going to bend that one up. Cutting means you can never go back and you might want to do something else with this. So I'm just going to bend that down so that I've got a bit of movement. So I've got a bit over there and I'm just going to bring this, push that down 
and into there like, oh, look at that. Oh, if you had any asparagus fern or anything like that or some of those little wedding beads, you could have those hanging down. And we have some, but I've used mine in an arrangement and I gave it to a friend for her birthday, so I haven't got any. Okay, right, let's look at the orchids. I thought that the white with the green would be very nice for outside because it would be real, it would be there, but not in your face. But if you wanted something bright, what about this here? Look at that, isn't that just lovely? I love those little zebra patterns on there. Look at that, it's just gorgeous little orchid. And we've also got this lovely little leopardy spotty one here, which I thought would be lovely. Just depends on which way you want to go. And of course, we've got these big long ones too. And the lovely thing about these is you've got the long stem here with all the florets on it plus you've got these little babies on the side which you can pull apart to use but I want to use this one so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into there and I'm just going to cut that off like so oh I know I know but from one I can get two and then what I've done here is I've got these sticks and it's actually I cut it off one of our flowers it was too long and I took the wire out and I'm just going to push that into there give that a good push into there Ugh. Ha, ha now I have a stem and with this one here I don't want all of that these are quite hard to cut and I don't know where my pliers are but if you just bend that and then oh, oh. Oh, for goodness sake, why didn't I get the cutters? It's all right, we can do this. Floral scissors that cut green leaves aren't, would probably be the best. I won't be beaten by a flower. I never will, I never have been, and I never will be. I just The floral snips for greens are probably not the best to use, the wire cutters or the side cutters. So now I have two of these to use and I'll just where I've cut that there I'm just going to bend and manipulate that so that I've got this lovely line that goes up and with this I'm just going to bring that into there like so so that that just lo almost looks like it's coming out from the leaves there and with this one I'm just going to bring that over to the other side because it's going to be hanging up I actually want to be able to see it but that's just the two you could put more into there if you're wanting to which I probably will but that's just an indication as to how you go about doing it and as I said with these if you are very 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 strong whew, these little ones could just go into there like that could go into there that little baby one there and that could go over to there and if you wanted to put some of the little wedding beads you could put those in but I just think I just love the simplicity of it and that's what they are so there you have a kokodama ball more or less it doesn't matter but they're going to look great together so there you have it and I will see you all again another day thanks for watching bye for now